We're meeting up with good friend Dusty Altman from Spy Point to chase some early season whitetails on the same farm we were at last year during the rut. Trip. It was good, man. No issues on the way in? No issues. No issues. Smooth sailing. The beautiful thing is the speed limit's 80. <laughs> so you can go almost 90. So it's wonderful. Well, last year I had to pull you out of ditch on your way here. Well, this so. is true. Yeah. This is true. You ready to have some fun? I'm ready to have some fun. We got some big ones we've been seeing. Good. So we'll get after them. Dusty's been running cameras for the last several weeks, getting some pictures of good bucks hitting these alfalfa and cornfields. It's our first night here in South Dakota. As you can see, it's super windy. Our setup is between these two bales of hay. We got a big uh, blind in front of us. The problem is the way this wind's blowing. Once those deer come out of that thicket and that bottom into this alfalfa, we could get busted. So we got a perfect wind. The problem is, you know, we're a little exposed, but we're between these two bales of hay. So hopefully this is enough cover. We're tucked here in the shade, but we're gonna see hopefully a ton of deer tonight. It's the first night here in South Dakota. I hope we'd have for our first night, but that's okay. One of the things I've learned over the years about hunting early season is that the mornings can be tough. The reason is these deer are coming in off the crop fields to bed. And unless you can slip into that set with a perfect win, I really like to stay away from those morning hunts and save it for the afternoon, not to mess up the area. Right, it's our second evening here in South Dakota. We're changing our setup a little bit. We're going to a ground blind. We've got this alfalfa field behind us here. We have this huge bottom that we're gonna be hunting over. And these deer are gonna come out of that bottom into the alfalfa. We got a perfect wind for it. Come along with us for this evening hunt and see if we can't get something on the ground.
What's up, brother? Hey, man, where are you guys at? We're finished glassing uh, that alfalfa field and just putting the uh, cameras up and the scopes up and trying to figure out what to do this morning. I, I just got an arrow on the big one. No, you didn't. Yeah. All right, man. What, I'm not sure. I'm not real sure about the shot, so I'm okay. going to give him a little bit. Okay. Would you guys run up on top of the hill where you're at yesterday morning and just put eyes on this bottom? Yeah, 100%, man. Uh, we'll haul that over there right now. Got a call from Dusty 20 minutes ago. He shot that big velvet buck we've been scouting all week. We hauled butt up to this hill because we can see this whole bottom in that area where he shot the deer. He's down there right now trying to find his arrow, get on some blood, gather some intel, and we're watching this whole bottom. So if he starts to trail this deer and he bumps him, we've got eyes on him. So fingers crossed he can get his hands on that big velvet buck. Dusty. What's up, brother? We're glassing. Hey, brother. I got him. You got him? Yeah, he's a uh, Seriously. Dude. Yep. Is he awesome? He's a good one. <laughs> I can't wait to get over there and see him. Your first buck in velvet, dude. Yeah. I know, man. He's, uh, it, it all came together. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you get in that hunt rig and, and bring it down here and we'll, we'll get him loaded up? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just come through the cornfield or? Yep, go okay. right through the cornfield and then just head a little bit further south and you'll see. Yeah. Proud of you, bro. He, was, he didn't go 150 yards. You serious? Yeah, he was, he was bleeding bad. I, I didn't think the shot was too good, but got on his trail and he was, he was bleeding really good, so he didn't go far at all. Oh my gosh, dude. That's the big one we've been watching, he, man. Absolutely, look at the character. Oh, he's beautiful, man. I mean, good brow tines. You Look at that kickers, mass, trash, that palmation mass. Mm -hmm. He didn't have that last year, and he didn't have that last year. And here's the deal. Half of them have shed their velvet, man. Yeah. I mean, it's just a matter of days before he's... Absolutely. He could have shed it and rubbed it out tonight and yep. been, been done. Yeah, I'm so happy for you, buddy. Thanks, man. We're getting down to the wire and we're going to a stand that I have a love-hate relationship with that I've hunted in the past. We know there's a shooter buck in this area and we've been waiting for the right wind to go hunt this set. It's our last night here in South Dakota. And that's our second sit in this spot where we're right in the backyard of a big buck. He's been right over these cottonwoods. Got water over here to our right. Last night you didn't see the three deer. We're not gonna have a lot of shot options, but you know, if he cooperates, we can pull it off. Early season can be an incredible time to hunt but it can also be feast or famine. And on this trip, we just didn't have the encounter with the buck that we were looking for. But Dusty shot a great buck in velvet, his first buck in velvet, and an awesome deer at that. That's a wrap for South Dakota this time, but you might see me back here in early November.